I wanted to say, maybe, yes. my having come to Israel to live, the fact that my beautiful boys and girls were, are living here, three of the four were born here, uh, and I, I pray, they, you know, they, the world is lovely and they can travel, but that they understand that this is uh, a very, very, very great gift. I, I was saying to the children, you know, people will be trying to get in and they won't be able to. And they were laughing. And I told them, you know, their grandfather had the opportunity to leave Czechoslovakia, to leave Galicia via a hole in the border. Someone got him a ticket on a ship called the... The, uh, he was already in Czechoslovakia, supposed to be making his way to Italy. He had the ticket. And he heard that the Nazis had come into his, the Germans had taken over his village of Yashlis, that his parents' home, by ill fortune, was just opposite the Nazi headquarter, that his sisters were hungry. One of them had a baby, the baby was hungry, one of them was pregnant, his older brother was in the Polish army, and he had a baby brother who was trying to do what he could, but he said, I can't leave them. And they had pooled all their money so that one child would survive, that was my father. He gave his ticket to someone and he went back, which was like going back to hell. Yes. Two days later, my grandfather was shot and buried in a mass grave, which is in the forest near there. My grandmother and two aunts, pregnant with baby, were taken to a concentration camp and killed. And everything, in two days, and my father was taken to a labor camp, a concentration camp. He was beaten. He had every disease you can imagine. He came out partially deaf. But with his humanity so intact, so such a kind man always, he said, the whole war I thought I could have been free. Until he found out that Der Strume had been torpedoed on his way to Palestine. Oh my God. And all 870 young people whose parents had bartered everything they had to try and save these children to go to Palestine, to Israel. They were drowned. That's an amazing story. After the war, they tried to come again. My mother said, I don't want to give birth in Germany, not in a DP camp. I want to go to a... They sent all their things to Israel. What did they have? They had a few things they bought after the war. Sewing machines, and for some reason, a piano. Oh, wow. They sent the piano here, the sewing machine, and the, the war broke out. My father's uncle was in Petah Tikva, and he said, don't come now, you're already broken. It was, what's happening here is terrible. You need a, a rest. So they went to America, all of their things came here. We never found them, they all came here. So when my father made Aliyah at the age of 96, after my mother passed away, a few years ago, and he sat on the balcony, looking at it, Harei Moab and Harei Yehuda and the Dead Sea and the old city. He said, I'm, I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's amazing. But I told my children that on the, I have the original, in fact, I have a picture of it in my phone. I can show it to you. The documents that my parents were given in Stuttgart by the Germans after the war, to call someone a Jew or a Hebrew was no longer politically correct, right after six million had been destroyed. So it says, G, my mother's name, Yadja, my father's name, Yosef. And underneath it says, Schnader, my mother was a cutter. My father, Holtz, Geschäft, he worked with wood. And then it said, for religion, or race, it said, Israelishim. Israelish? Is Israelishim, I'll show it to you. 
And I said to my kids last week, I was looking at it, and I said, how are they Israelishin if the Germans say that there was no Israel before 1948? When it's not popular to be Israeli or Jew, when you're not popular to be a Jew or a Hebrew, when it's not popular to be a Hebrew. You're an Israeli. <laughs> you're an Israeli, you know, so here's yeah, to yeah. the Jews, the Hebrews, and the Israelis. Amen. Amen. What, what we all saw as perhaps being a, being part of an awful incomprehensible tragedy growing up so far from it in North America. If anyone on this planet were suddenly, if it were suddenly disclosed to them that their, their parents had been incarcerated, had been tortured, that their grandparents had been destroyed, a, a new human being on this planet would be kind of surprised, dismayed. Why? Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, and the, the, the secret is... What is the secret? The secret is that there's absolutely no explanation. <laughs> And yes. it certainly isn't yes. something that uh, yes. the Jews or the Hebrews or the Israelis ha were respond or felt were made to feel guilty for. Gam harakta, gam ratzachta, gam yorashta. You also kill and you also inherit. That's the plan. Uh, very strange.